What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is my brand new 2021 custom all black truck. I'm in the midst of uh, getting all the chrome off of it right now and changing it red. But what I'm doing today is putting lights in that Chevy grill. So I just want to show you guys a little bit of how, I, how I'm gonna do it, not how I did it. Uh, I've already taken off the front part here. Uh, it was uh, some 10 millimeter screws in here. I think I got, I think it was one, two, three, four of them. Um, it was some uh, little rubber latches that held this down. Took that off. I'll show you the process when I put it back on and also took off the latch here. But I'll show you all that when I put it back on what I haven't shown you right now. But um, I'm gonna find out how to get this off and I'll show you that also too. And I'll show you the process of what I'm gonna do to get my lights in there. Um, the idea of what I was gonna do was uh, go with hooking it up to my running lights when they came on, the lights come on. But I think I'm gonna change that up and put the button inside before I can cut them on when I want to. And what I'm doing, I'm going for a color changing uh, theme in there. I don't wanna just put one color in there. I've seen some guys do like a green, do like a white. I wanna do if I can change it up and I'm also going to put me a light in here also. So I don't know if you've seen the new um, Escalades. They got them in there. Other cars do. So it's going to be lights in here and lights in there. Uh, let me figure out how to get this damn thing off. And I'll show you the next step. All right, guys. What I did, I took my screwdriver, right? And I pried underneath these here little slot holes because I think it's something that's underneath that's holding them. So I probably not got those off. So now we got some movement. And I think from what I've seen on the internet, you can just like grab it somewhere up in here and keep prying it off. There we go. So I think I'm just gonna keep moving down and doing it. Try to try not to break nothing. Let me put this camera down, guys. And all right, guys. When you get to pulling on this thing, don't be afraid. Uh, you're not gonna break it as you can see you got a couple clips one then I think I think I got one I think I have one on that back side there like this one and this thing come right off let me see if I can do it I got your own and just like that we're out of there uh, all right and also too, while I got this off, I'm gonna be painting my tie. Uh, like I told you, I'm taking all the silver off this thing. So I may do another video of that, but while I got that off, while I got this off, I'm gonna be doing that also. All right, guys, let me get this off and uh, get to the next step. Now that I got the grill off, I'm gonna be showing you what I'm gonna be using here. I'm gonna be using this uh, sheet metal 26 gauge, uh, fairly thick. Uh, see, I like it. You can see the measurements there, 12 by 24. It will be enough for me to do both sides of this. Once I get my shears and cut it, measure it down the size, it will fit. It will be a two-piece thing anyway, where. I gotta fit it around this piece here, which that's no problem. I'm just letting you guys see what I'm doing here. I've got my measured off there. I got my line all the way up and I'm using my shears here. I got uh, three pack of these, one different angles. And I think this is the straight angle here. And this is what I'm using to cut this down. Uh, it's doing pretty good. Uh, I just want to show you guys what I'm using to do this with and uh, let me get this done and keep going First piece is cut And as you can see I got it's a little off here, but I got to cut some grooves in there to make that sit down So got those marked off. Let me get those cut and show you guys how it's supposed to look All right, Got the cut on it Got it bent up there. It's showing you guys how it's supposed to look in there. It's to it's perfect to the T right on it. Hope you 
you guys can see it. And what I'm gonna do is silicone that in. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna put some ties on it. I'm gonna make it look good, make it fit, make it sealed. All right, guys, let me keep building. What you can see here, guys, I have it fitted, cut out. When I'm done, that'll look even better. As you can see, I got my dots also too. But what I'm gonna do before I paint this thing, I'm gonna punch my holes, because that's where my ties will go. And it will go between those two. So when you look on the other side, you, you won't see the ties themselves. Um, I'm gonna be using black ties for that, uh, zip ties. Um, oh yeah, looks, looks pretty good. It's going pretty fast too. I don't think I'm gonna be done with it today because I gotta do all the doggone wiring, but hey, you never know. If I keep moving, we might. All right, guys. All right, as you can see, I got the holes drilled down here, guys. And what I'm gonna do next, I got some black paint over there. I'm gonna paint the inside of these panels black and that will help reflect whichever light I got going a little better than just having plain silver or whatever this is. All right, let's get going. All right, first coat down. As you can see, it's wet. And it's about 30 something degrees outside, so I might have to take these back in the garage, even though it's, uh, <laughs> shit, it's cold in there too. But I'm gonna let these dry. But while I'm letting these dry, I gotta do something to the grill. Let me show you. All right, guys, what I gotta show you is when I enclose this, hold on, let me see, show you right here. When I enclose this whole thing here, uh, water will have nowhere to go. So what I gotta do is drill me some little holes uh, right in here. So it'll be underneath these here just to give a whole uh, water a place to go, uh, not just sit there uh, on the silicone and on the lights themselves. So let me drill a couple of those holes. I'm gonna change my bed out, make it a little smaller than what I just did on those plates. And uh, we can get some drainage. And that's my drain holes, guys. I've done it all the way down. I didn't do it in the middle because it's an arch there, but I kept it going all the way down. Same on the other side. And the bit I used was a 964th. I guess you can go uh, any anything that size. You can go bigger, you can do whatever you want. But I think that'd be a big enough hole to drain out any water that gets cased in there. All right, guys. All right, guys, I know I told you it might be the last one, but when I went to the auto store, I've got another uh, paint. Got some engine paint that it will stand the heat and it's more like an outside type of paint. The paint I got over there is an indoor paint. I don't, <laughs> that's probably why the color doesn't look like I want it to. So I'm gonna give it a coat of this, uh, whatever you call it, dupla color, and uh, see what it looks like. Wow, what a different product makes. So if you're gonna be painting, use this engine paint. Duper color. I haven't even painted the second one down there. You can tell the difference. After two coats, one coat did that. Now, you could say, well, that cheap paint probably did it all after the third coat, but no, I don't think so. I think this it was all in the paint. Don't skimp on, don't skimp with the money. I'm trying to make it look good. Pay how you play. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep going. All right, guys, and I'm letting that paint dry. We're gonna go on to the lights. Uh, these are the lights I got. I guess they call Govi. I'll put a link in the description or I might just put a picture up, show you what I got from silicone. I went to um, the auto store and this is what I'm gonna use right here. It's in the tube, less messy, right to the point what I'm trying to do. So this is what we're gonna use and I'll let you guys know how it works. All right, let's get to work. All right, guys, let me show you the setup. I thought these two longer ones were the same length, but they are not. As you can see, that top one is a little bit longer, and that's okay. It's 
so that whole side is going to illuminate. But what I was going to do here is offset this one because it only goes to here. Do you know, try to make one, you know, offset one to make one, whatever, but I don't have to do that because I'm going to have light on this end and I'm also going to have light. Well, just here is where the light will not really be, but the top will make sure that's straight. So, and with it closing it, I'm hoping that it'll illuminate the whole thing so it doesn't matter. And this is how the side lights hang off here. This is the part that will go on the side of the truck. And it's the same thing on this side. All right, well, I'm letting that paint dry. I'm gonna silicone coat these lights, get them in there pretty good. And then I'm gonna go check on the covers and see if we can get going. All right, guys, hope y'all can see this. What I did, I put some silicone uh, around the edges. I also put a just a little in the back of the light. Now, what I'm gonna do when I go get the panels, I'm gonna probably put the silicone on the panels and then I'm gonna run my ties through these. They're gonna, if you saw where my holes go, they're gonna go through here and around that. So that makes it for, you know, you gotta really, really be looking to see the tie on that. And this kit came with a bunch of uh, ties, which I already have a bunch of them anyway, but they already got them in there. So it's a great kit for this. Um, let's let this dry a little bit and we'll keep moving. All right, guys. Got everything on. I only need to paint it one side of these, remember. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tie in here and I'm going to get it looped around. And before I tighten it down, I'm going to put my silicone all around. And that's what I'm going to do all the way down. So just showing you guys the process of how I'm going to get this done. All right, if, if, if any changes come, I'll let you know. Next step, as you can guys see, I got the panel off right here. Got the light coming in from the top, down bottom. And between, let me see if I get you guys see this. Between the vent here, that vent and that other little vent in the back, where you guys can see it, there's a slot right in the middle of it. And I'm gonna try to get that light to go in between there. I don't know if you can see it right there. Try to get it to go down. Now, this is gonna be the hardest part of this whole thing, so. I'm not going to be able to show you a lot of this, but I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of where to put the lights. All right, guys, now that we got that on, next we have these little uh, plastic little uh, ribbit poppers, whatever you want to call them. I wish I knew the name of them. We just go through and put those on. First, you put this one in, and then let me see if I can do it while I got you guys on camera. You put that piece in first. And then you line the second piece up. Now watch, I won't be able to do it. But you get the drift and you put that in. Oh, hold on. All right. <laughs> had to get, all right, I had to get off camera to line it up. Couldn't do it with one hand. But once you get it lined up in there, it's only one way it goes. You just push it down and it's locked. And I got to go around and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. So get those put in and we're about done. All right, guys, this is what I had to do to finish this thing up. Instead of going to the battery, instead of going inside with the switch like I want to do at first, I went to Napa and bought a mini uh, little fuse thing there. And I got it hooked on right there with a five uh, watt fuse, amp fuse, whatever you want to call it. And I got my ground right here and I got it right there. So that way it doesn't come on until that fuse is uh, initiated. But yeah, that's it. That's the way we got it going.
All right, guys, this is the finished product. Uh, I can get every color I want on it, but that is exactly what I wanted with it right there. All right, guys, that's it. You can do this too. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.